has been made of you, Inquisitor. Here it is. What is your evaluation of how we're doing? I am able to pursue my duties with optimal efficiency, thanks to Skyhold's present state. As you were? Yes, Inquisitor. But I adore you more. Probably not. I need to talk to you. Just talk? Such a pity. I told you gave the Grey Wardens another chance, Inquisitor. Would I have done the same, I wonder? Forgiveness can be difficult. I hope the Order values what you've done and gives you no reason to regret it. I'll leave you to it. If you require any assistance... Inquisitor. You walked physically through the Fade. Please tell me what you remember. I had visions, echoes of what happened to me the first time. The Divine was there, or something like her. Manifestations of your own mind, perhaps? Or external memories awakened by your presence? I suppose there's no way to tell. No one else has physically entered the Fade since the Magisters assaulted the Golden City. Oh, I'm positively envious right now. Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Venon. This is why the Kuhn doesn't like women fighting. I should have asked Cullen. Good one. Perhaps you can take over. Gunari training exercise to master your fear. Been a while since I needed it, but that nightmare demon was... big. Can you explain why I'm supposed to hit you with this stick? Probably, if I try. It'd involve a lot of Kunari words, though. Just hit me with the stick, all right? I need to get over this demon crap. All right. There we go. Oh, yeah. Damn demon. Who's stuck in the fade, huh? So we're working out your fear with a stick. Less talking, more hitting. <coughs> piece of feed, piece of crap! <coughs> and who killed you? <coughs> That's what right, Iron Fucking Ball! <sighs> so <sighs> funny and <sighs> weird at the same time. I needed that. <sighs> Thanks, boss. <sighs> Didn't know you liked it that rough. <sighs> Only from you, boss. <laughs> Only from you. <laughs> Do you have something to show me? Oh, yes. Writing does not come naturally to me, as I'm certain you can imagine. Are you all right? You seem very intent. I am. 
This needs to be done before I forget. As if written by a dim-witted child. <sighs> Historians will one day ask what happened at Adamant Fortress, in the Fade. I wasn't there, but others were. Their accounts must be recorded. Fair enough. Just be careful what you write. Do not be concerned. I am a poor writer, but not unaware of the weight my words might carry. I still don't know what to say about the spirit of the Divine. The Chantry teaches us that the souls of the dead pass through the Fade, so it could have been her. Yet even so... Do you really think it might have been her? A ghost? A ghost. A remnant of her hopes and memories. Her lingering will to do good. Those things are all possible. Nobody knows for certain what happens after we die. A spirit could have assumed her form, but why? It helped you, as Justinia herself would have. Perhaps it doesn't matter what she really was then. It matters to me, to what I must write. I wish I'd seen her, seen it. I feel so inadequate trying to interpret. I don't know the truth any more than you do. Sadly, unanswered questions make for poor reading. When they told me you were physically in the Fade, I was terrified for you. The last time such a thing happened, we created Darkspawn. We created Corypheus. The world needs to know the truth this time. No more legends lost to the ages. Are there any more? I understand the Inquisition has tracked down the missing seekers. Care Oswin. I didn't see Ban Loren as the sort of nobleman that would become involved in this war. The sooner we go there, the sooner I can put this search behind me. <gasps> May I ask you about the Chantry? It is difficult to say what became. Damn, that was... Hmm, that was good, Kadan. Um... Oh, I needed that. Hmm, my pleasure. Well, maybe some of it's yours. All this time, and you've never said Kato. If I'd known you'd last this long, I'd have let you pick your own watchword. People choose their own watchwords? Normally, yes. It can be anything, so long as it's not something you'd ever shout by accident. Josephine might pick Madrigal, while Colin would go with Phylactery. As for Cassandra, it'd probably be something soft, like silk or satin. You're sure about that? Hey, Ben Hasrath, remember? I've got everyone pegged. What about Varric? Wait, don't tell me. Bianca. <laughs> no. It would have to be something he wouldn't shout during sex. Maybe Paragon or Tig. Here's a tough one. Cole. You know, he stumped me. I actually asked him. He thought really hard about it, then finally said his watchword was stop. I don't think he got it. Probably for the best, honestly. What about Vivienne? Hmm, tough one. I'm going with Periwinkle. She looks like a Periwinkle kind of lady.
If you want to make me use that watchword, you'll need to try harder. Good to know. I'm a better man for having met you, Kadan. I just hope this made things a little easier on your end. I just wish we'd had time for the wedding before Corypheus showed up. I... Uh, what? I assumed we were getting married. Um... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, the look on your face. Oh, you are evil. You have remarkably little here on early to winter history. All these gifts to the Inquisition, and the best they can do is the Malefica Imperio, trite propaganda. But if you want 20 volumes on whether Divine Galatea took a shit on Sunday, this is evidently the place to find it. That's the Dorian I know, critiquing every book in my library. I wouldn't have to if you could find some rebellious heretic archivist to join the cause. Are there rebellious archivists? Other than you, that is. If Corypheus ever starts burning masterworks of literature, I'm sure a few will pop up. Did I see something by Genitivi here? I could have sworn. What is this about, Dorian? When we fell into the chasm, into the Fade, I thought you were done for. I don't know if I can forgive you for that moment. I'm sorry you had to go through it with me. I'm not sorry I was there with you. I thought I'd lost you. You sent me ahead and then didn't follow. For just a moment, I was certain you wouldn't. I thought, this is it. This is where I finally lose him forever. Are you... all right? Stroud is gone. Ah, it's as I thought. The Fade is an ordeal under normal circumstances. To be the only real thing there, beyond description. That any of us made it out alive is difficult to believe. That you made it out, a miracle. You do realize this feat hasn't been performed in over a thousand years. Corypheus and his contemporaries entered the Fade and began the Blights, in comparison. At least you were at my side. <laughs> no offense, but I'd almost rather I hadn't been. No sense of adventure. That's surprising. I've not your talent for survival. And not everyone is as discerning as I. If you can walk in the Fade, others will try to follow. Who knows what secrets Corypheus has revealed? Not all of them will be as lucky as you. What they could unleash. My advice? Keep this quiet. Let them speculate. Too many will see this as a challenge. That's a good idea. There are enough idiots in the world who think if they just use enough blood magic, their problems will vanish. It's exactly the sort of thing I want to stop back home. This... this I don't need. What I do need is a copy of the Liberalum. I'll wager I can find Corypheus' real name. If I can prove he was a grasping ankle biter with no family to speak of, the luster would come right off. Wish me luck. Always a sight for sore eyes. I need to talk to you. Just talk? Such a pity. Adamant's influence continues, Your Worship. I submit Lord Livius Erimond of Virantium, who remains loyal to Corypheus. We found him alive, offering extreme resistance, likely because the Order will ask for his head. In more colorful terms. To say nothing of justice you might personally require for what was suffered in the Fade. Well, wow, this would be quick. I'm struggling to understand how judging you can make up for anything that happened. I recognize none of this proceeding. You have no authority to judge me. 
On the contrary, many officials have communicated that they will defer to the Inquisitor on this matter. Mm -hmm. Because they fear not just Corypheus, but Taventa, rightful ruler of every piece of ground ye trod in your pathetic life. I serve the living God. Bring down your blades and free me from the physical. Glory awaits me. Yeah, okay. Although willing, there is a group you have wronged more than any. Lord Livius Aramond of Varantium. The Wardens can have you. Let them take your head if they want it. Their petty justice or yours, it matters not. Truth lies in the next world. Let's get this over with. <sighs> it's time to plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? We're well loved in Orle. Say the words and Empress Selene will send her support. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orle's support, our numbers match his. Corypheus' followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. We've beaten their god twice over. Corypheus must be livid. Where is he now? After Adamant, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds and sent them marching south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. They've terrorized Thetis long enough. We end them now. If Corypheus is hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we'll go. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Fortunately, I can assist. You have my attention, Lady Morrigan. What Corypheus seeks in those Forgotten Woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? It is best if I show you. Okay. Question mark. Blood magic, I'm guessing? This is an Illuvian. An elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. It's beautiful in its way. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds, untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? Fuck. I want. I wish she was on my team. I'm pretty sure she could do some badass blood magic. I know I shouldn't say that, but what the fuck? If this place once had a name, 
it has long been lost. I call it the crossroads, a place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. Is this place dangerous? It feels... Unnatural, yes. We are, however, in no immediate peril. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but only a few. This place isn't natural. It almost seems... constructed. It's as if someone made a pocket within the Fade, with its own rules of reality. If the ancient elves could do this... It seems remarkable that the Magisters of Tevinter could ever challenge them, yes. It's deteriorating. Eventually this place will simply collapse on itself. Who can say how old it is, for now it stands and thus retains its value. How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not... resourceful. If they don't lead back to our world, then... Places... between, like... This one, I can describe it no better. For a time, I was safe from those who hunted me. But only for a time, one cannot remain in between forever. What do you mean a few can be opened from this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Opened how? With a key. I suppose you have such a key? The key can be many things. Each alluvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. Corypheus wants to come here? This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers. And enter the Fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Alluvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. I understand you have spared the Grey Wardens from destroying what goodwill was left them. Tis good of you, considering the weakness Corypheus exploited was their own doing. Still, should a true Archdemon one day arise, they will no doubt be needed. Or so they would have us believe. You seem to know a great deal about Elven lore. The Dalish are not the only ones interested in the distant past, Inquisitor. Indeed, my skills allow me access to places the Dalish dare not even dream of. The ancient elves hold secrets they have not yet given up. Secrets about the foundation of Thedas itself. Thus, they are my focus. Corypheus clearly feels the same. I'd like to know more about you. Ah, yes. Whence comes the mystery woman slinking her way into the Inquisition's ranks? 
Once I was an apostate, living well away from the banal influence of the Chantry in the Kukari wilds. Then came the fifth blight with its dark spawn, and I left Ferelden for the Empress's court. It is certain the nobles of Orlais breathe a collective sigh of relief that I am now here. I leave you to the garden. Until next time, then. Inquisitor, the soldiers say you banished the demons at Adamant and freed the Grey Warden mages. I understand from Sister Leliana that the truth is somewhat more complex, but no less extraordinary. She said that you spoke with a figure in the Fade that seemed to be the soul of divine Justinia. I suspect many of the faithful would like to know what Justinia told you. She helped me remember what happened at the Conclave. The Maker didn't give me the mark on my hand. I was struck in battle. And Andraste didn't send me. The figure everyone saw was Divine Justinia. I'm so sorry. That must have come as quite a shock. The Maker didn't need to send Andraste to me physically for me to be her herald. I am glad to see your faith has not deserted you. You will need it in battles to come. It is wise that you do not let what happened in the Fade spread, however. Some would not understand. Now, is there anything I can help you with? Farewell, revered mother. Be well, Inquisitor. Inquisitor, Elan Vimal. Honored to represent the College of Herbalists and offer my services as apothecary. I intend to carry on the work of my esteemed colleague, Adan. He thought highly of you. You will be missed. I look forward to working with you. And are you? I wasn't sure what to think of you people, but recent events have put those doubts to bed. All the mundane needs of Skyhold will be well tended. If you note anything special, let me know. I'm here to serve the cause we must. Another of the lingering pains of Adamant, your worship. Sir Ruth is a senior warden of the Order. She was one of the many who slit the throat of another to bind a demon. She does not contest this. In fact, she surrendered to us. She requests no mercy. She wants the public justice of the Headman's Axe. You're very serious about this. Is more death the answer? There is no excuse for my actions. I murdered another of the Order. That blood marks me more than the Blight ever could. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties allow wardens any extreme if it opposes the Blight. I can't do it. I can't use the greater good to justify my crimes, as if it would create a future I could be a part of. It is wrong that this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. The Inquisition stands for faith. Our work has greater purpose. Sometimes we need a reminder. Sir Ruth, the Herald of Andraste forgives you in her name. Find peace in that. Your Worship, I... I will try. Before you is Servus of the Minrathus Circle of Magi. You met him and his Venatori in the Western Approach. 
He admits to working for Corypheus, raising monsters, and using magic for conquest. He also used his connections to smuggle magical artifacts out of the approach, without his master's consent. You stole from Corypheus. I don't know whether that's stupidly brave or bravely stupid. I was hired by a third party. I've no loyalty to him. Might you find that useful, Your Worship? I'm sorry, are you attempting to bargain with us? Bargain? I plead. I throw myself on your mercy. I also have friends in Tavinta who owe me large debts. Leave what happened in the approach behind us, Inquisitor, and I can put them all at your disposal. Someone who can smuggle magical artifacts to Deventer and back shouldn't be wasted on court diplomacy. Bring those artifacts back to the Inquisition. Procure something really useful and we might loosen the shackles. Your worship knows value when he sees it. I won't disappoint. With an Illuvion, Corypheus could cross into the Fade in the Flesh. Indeed. The Inquisitor can attest that these artifacts still work if one knows how to use them. What happens when Corypheus enters the Fade? Why, he will gain his heart's desire and take the power of a god. Or, and this is more likely, the lunatic will unleash forces that tear the world apart. I won't allow it. I can't. Indeed, should Corypheus succeed, do not doubt you would be first to feel his holy wrath. Pardon me, but does this mean everything's lost unless we get to the Alluvian before him? Corypheus has a head start, no matter how quickly our army moves. We should gather our allies before we march. Can we wait for them? We should send our spies ahead to the Arbor Wilds. Without support from the soldiers? You'd lose half of them. Then what should we do? You overcome it, all three of you together. Josephine, have our allies send scouts to meet us in the wilds. Liliana, your fastest agents will join them. Together, we'll have enough spies to slow down Corypheus' army until Cullen's soldiers arrive. <laughs> <clears throat> Such confidence. But the Arbor Wilds are not so kind to visitors. Old elven magic lingers in those woods. We'd be remiss to not take advantage of your knowledge, Lady Morgan. Please lend us your expertise. Tis why I came here. Although it is good to see its value recognized. Any further instructions, Inquisitor? The Inquisition began as a handful of soldiers. Thanks to you, we're now a force that will topple a self-proclaimed god. I could ask for no finer counsel, no better guidance. I speak for all of us when I answer. We could ask for no finer cause. We'll hound Corypheus in the wilds before he can find the temple or this Illuvion. Iron Bowl, interesting. I wish I got her permanently. The lady is badass, okay? Let's do it.
Inquisitor. How goes the battle, Captain? The Red Templars fall beneath our blades, Your Worship. Commander Cullen says they're nearly finished. Our scouts saw Corypheus traveling towards an elven ruin to the north. We can clear you a path through his armies. So all you have to do is fend off Corypheus' worst zealots until I've returned. We shall not flinch, Your Worship. Not a one of us. Andraste guide you, Inquisitor. I wonder, is it Andraste your soldiers invoke during battle, or does a more immediate name come to their lips? Another way to let people down if I falter. Thank you for the reminder. Twas not I who raised an army of faithful to storm this land, Inquisitor. But I digress. If your scouts report accurately, I believe these ruins to be the temple of Mathal. Which is? A place of worship out of elven legend. If Corypheus seeks it, then the alluvian he covets lies within. Let us hope we reach this temple before the entire forest is reduced to ash. Suck that I can't play her as a character. Now that's a view. Get your blood going. I hope you're right about this temple, Morrigan. I could use a building or two. Do the woods discomfort you, Pavos? It's mostly the people trying to cut our heads off that manage that. Corypheus? Is she just gonna stand there or?
those were Grey Wardens. They must be the last of those enslaved in Adamant. For that, or you got another set of Wardens pissed at you somehow. There, ahead. An entire camp of Red Templars. Watch yourself! Watch us on the wall! by elves. Elves wielding strange magic at that. Defeat. Perhaps these creatures are the reason few return from the Arbor Wilds.
There. That must be the Temple of Mythal. In front of us. Rage burning red. So close to what he wants, what he was, what he will be. Corypheus. I hear fighting ahead.
Namilana Sobanale. They still think to fight us, Master. These are but remnants. They will not keep us from the Well of Sorrows. Well of Sorrows? Be honored. Witness death at the hands of a new god. Computer choppy. What the? What? Is it choppy like that? At last, Mathal's sanctum. Let us proceed before Corypheus interferes. If he's here for a mirror, why'd Corypheus say he wants a well of sorrows? I am uncertain of what he referred to. Would they be the same? Could Alluvian translate into well of sorrows? No. It seems an Alluvian is not the prize Corypheus seeks. Yes, I was wrong. Does that please you? Whatever the Well of Sorrows might be, Corypheus seeks it, and thus you must keep it from his grasp. Mm-hmm. Don't bullshit Let's me. Let's find this well before Corypheus' people do. I want to know how Corypheus returned to life. We saw him die. And his life force passes on to any blighted creature, Darkspawn, or Grey Warden. Then Corypheus can't really die. We'll find a way to stop him once we're done here. It is strange. Archdemons possess the same ability, and still the Grey Wardens are able to slay them. Yet Corypheus, they locked away. Perhaps they knew he could do this, but not how. Corypheus' lackeys managed to open it. Perhaps the altar is a clue. Yes? Are you certain Corypheus is using the power of the Blight to make himself immortal? Perhaps you forget. I was in Ferelden during the Fifth Blight. I have seen a true Archdemon rage. How Corypheus gained the power to send his soul into Blighted Bodies, that is the real question. Well, answering that question, let us destroy Corypheus for good. Perhaps. I would suggest first dealing with the well. If Corypheus obtains it, any chance of success could be lost. Do you know what this part of the temple was used for? The room we stand in is a vestibule, not the temple proper. To those who knew it, perhaps this ritual was little more than a polite knock at the gate. 
These customs must have been as familiar to ancient elves as bowing to a queen is to you or I. I find it difficult to picture you curtsying to anyone. If we become so familiar, you can predict my manners and customs now. Nothing is lost by indulging in the occasional civilized conduct, particularly when unexpected. You said this Mythal was worshipped as a goddess? So one assumes. What is a god but a being of immense power? The dread old gods were nothing more than dragons, after all. They rise as archdemons, and they die. Perhaps Mathal was a powerful elf, a ruler among her kind. History often plays storyteller with facts. Truthfully, I'm uncertain Mathal was even a single entity. The accounts are varied. There are varied accounts of Mathal? In most stories, Mathal rights wrongs while exercising motherly kindness. Let fly your voice to Mathal, deliverer of justice, protector of sun and earth alike. Other paint her as dark, vengeful. Pray to Mathal and she would smite your enemies, leaving them in agony. Whatever the truth, all accounts of Mathal end the same. Exiled to the beyond with her brethren. What do you mean, exiled? Tricked by the dread wolf, as all the elven gods were said to be, trapped in a land beyond the Fade. Many Dalish believe this is why the elves fell from grace and their gods did not save them. Or perhaps they were simply rulers slain by Tevinter. Who can say? You've seen the elves here. They seem odd. Indeed. Two things are possible. One, this is a group of Dalish separated from their brethren, cultists, fanatic in their desire to keep humans away. Two, these are elves descended from the ancients, having resided here since before the fall of Arlathan. The second appears unlikely, but if true, the implications are astounding. Is that even possible? How? With magic, anything is possible. Whatever the truth, the Guardians successfully kept the temple a secret. They must kill all who enter, even the Dalish. A more sensible question might be, why? Let's continue. As you wish. The Temple of Mithal. Constructed in an age when elves, not men, dominated this land. Before the Imperium destroyed it. They believed Mithal a goddess of justice. Elves came here to request judgment. After they proved their worth. It appears the temple's magics are still strong. Is this elven? Does it say anything about this well of sorrows? I only recognize a few phrases. <gasps> ah, a belasan, meaning place of sorrow. That must be the well. There is something about knowledge, respectful or pure. Shiven, shivenen. Tis all I can translate. That it mentions the well is a good omen. At least we know the Well of Sorrows was important. Supplicants to Mathal would have first paid obeisance here. Following their path may aid entry. Hmm. Not much of a lock if all you do is step on it. It is a ritual, not a barred door. There is more here than earthly treasure. Hold them off!
Come on, we might catch them. Hold a moment. While they rush ahead, this leads to our true destination. We should walk the petitioner's path as before. People are dying outside while we stand here. If we use the tunnel, more of our soldiers can flee. Just a thought. Maybe rushing through this place like a mad bull isn't the best plan. You see the urgency. We cannot find the Well of Sorrows unprepared. We don't know what's behind those doors. They might have a reason for going another way. Had they the option, they would have proceeded. That must lead to their goal. Their goal? Or yours? There is a danger to the natural order. Legends walked Thedas once, things of might and wonder. Their passing has left us all the lesser. Corypheus would squander the ancient power of the well. I would have it restored. You barely know what the Well of Sorrows is, but you want to restore it? Yes. Is Thedas so full of wonders that we should leave them to die one by one? <sighs> Mankind blunders through the world, crushing what it does not understand. Elves, dragons, magic. The list is endless. We must stem the tide or be left with nothing more than the mundane. This I know to be true. I read more in the first chamber than I revealed. It said a great boon is given to those who use the Well of Sorrows, but at a terrible price. What exactly did that altar say about the Well of Sorrows? Like most elven writing, it was insufferably vague. The term I deciphered was Halam Shivanas, the sweet sacrifice of duty. It implies the loss of something personal for duty's sake, yet for those who served at this temple, a worthwhile trade. What sort of curse should we brace ourselves for if we use the well? It would be easier by far to advise you of a curse. This price is not so well defined. My priority is your cause, but if the opportunity arises to save this well, I am willing to pay the cost. And gain what? That is what we must discover. The rituals may point the way. <laughs> <laughs> 